1967 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of December 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1967 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 85 cents. However, on the open market 1967 quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $6,250. This MS-68 specimen displays essentially perfect surfaces with a solid strike on the devices. It was sold for $1,500. Number 7. 1966 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, this is the second year that the Mint struck silver-clad Kennedy Half Dollars for circulation. The Mint struck silver-clad Kennedy Half Dollars from 1965 to 1970. The 1966 P. Kennedy Half Dollar has the second lowest mintage for any silver-clad Half Dollar struck for circulation from 1965 to 1970. The 1966 P. Kennedy half dollar appears to be common in grades up to MS-64. In MS-65 it becomes a bit tough with several hundred graded in this condition. In MS-66, it is a bit scarce with possibly less than 200 examples known in this condition. In MS-67 they become really scarce. This one was sold for $1,620. Number 6. 1959 Washington Quarter graded in Mint State 67 plus by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1959 D. Washington Quarter is plentiful in most grades but becomes scarce at the superb gem level. This is a rare plus graded piece, ideal for registry purposes. Satiny luster shows no distractions. Ivory white luster characterizes most of each side, although rich amber toning in the margins accentuates the eye appeal. It was sold for $1,860. Number 5. 1960 D. Small Date Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1960 D. Small Date Lincoln Cent is very common, well over a billion and a half coins were struck. Examples in MS-65 condition or lower can be easily obtained. In MS-66 condition they carry a small premium but can be acquired fairly easy. MS-67 condition is much tougher as there are less than 100 examples known. Any example in MS-67 condition or higher is a tough and very nice coin for the issue. This specimen was sold for $2,280. Number 4. 1968D Double Die Reverse Scent. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Wexler's Die Varieties, a very strong CW spread from a pivot at approximately 7 o'clock shows on the letters of USA, IPU, the dots, the designer's initials, and the letters of scent. This Lincoln scent displays vibrant mint luster with slight amount of distractions. I appeal is pleasing. It was sold for $2,880. Number 3. 1965 Lincoln scent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. The 1965 Lincoln scent claims a substantial mintage of nearly 1.5 billion pieces, but the issue is definitely rare at the MS-67 grade level, with a red designation. This plus-graded superb gem offers virtually flawless original red surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and sharply detailed design elements throughout. I appeal is terrific. It ended up selling for $4,080. Number 2. 1959 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. Pumpkin gold color and uninhibited mint luster blend over each side of this plus-graded superb gem, which ranks among the finest at both services. A couple of microscopic ticks on the columns of the Lincoln Memorial, unseen without magnification, prevent an even higher grade. It was sold for $4,320. Number 1. 1965 Roosevelt Dime Struck on a Silver Planchet. Graded in Mint State 62 by NGC. Transitional Alloy Error. The U.S. Mint transitioned to clad dimes during 1965. Silver dimes continued to be struck to use up the remaining stock, but those coins were intended to be produced on 1,964 dated dies. But Murphy's Law ensured some silver dime planchets were struck with 1965 dies. Our online archives show eight prior auction appearances. This is an unblemished example with light straw gold toning save for a small area of powder blue pattern and near 3 o'clock on the reverse. It was sold for 
Thanks for joining us on this thrilling quest for wealth. Until next time, happy hunting.